Okay, batteries, camera, GoPros, mics, SD cards. Okay, welcome back to a new one. Another behind the scenes video. Pascal and I just got the opportunity to shoot a video this evening at Eaglesbach Airport. So we're going to fly with a small plane. Not quite sure which one right now. We've got to figure that out once we're at the airport. Yeah, a bit stressful because I'm getting picked up like in 10 minutes and I just had to throw everything in the bag and hopefully everything is uh, in there we need and everything is charged, but I think we should be good. I guess I'll see you there. So, welcome guys to Egelsbach Airport. We got like 10 to 50 minutes now until the plane arrives or comes back and then we have to set everything up in the plane quite quickly and go out again. This is only a two-seater plane so that means I can't be in the back with the big camera and film like everything from back there so we'll leave it to the GoPros this time. We got two GoPro Hero 10 and one 360 so the GoPro Max. What I'm filming on right now is quite nice. We just built like a small handy little vlog style setup. There we go. This is the GoPro Hero 10 with a road. I don't know the name of the small road mic. With a dongle bound down here and a gorilla pot. Really handy to like do these small vlog style easy setups because you've got the stabilization of the GoPro, which is really cool. And yeah, really easy and nice to use. Um, I will now set up the Canon. I'll shoot that handheld without the gimbal because we're only shooting like the intro and the outro sequence on that and for that it doesn't really make sense to put it on a gimbal. Handheld is just fine. So, set up the Canon. Um, you probably have seen this already. Um, it's the Canon EOS R with the Atmos recorder, the Ninja, uh, not Ninja, the Wireless Go 2 and we've got an ND filter on here today since it's very bright as you can see and we'll probably have to use the ND filter to get the lighting just right. So all that's left to do now is to film the intro and set up the cameras in the cockpit. Okay so we set up the GoPros in the cockpit. We got one Hero 10 up here for the outside view out front then we got one on the side here. So this is a bit special because we got the audio connector down here and that connects to the intercom um, so we can hear what they are talking over the headsets because usually the audio is so loud you can't really hear Quite anything. Loud, yeah. And Pascal has a Hero Max, uh, yeah, no, GoPro Max. There we go, 360 camera in his hand. So he can show you around the cockpit and we can move the shot in Premiere um, afterwards. Quite nice. Okay, I just wanted to jump in here real quick and show you what the footage actually looks like when we get it into the PC, into Premiere Pro. Of course, you can watch Pascal's video link up here on his channel. Um, the full video is on there. Uh, but I want to show you the Premiere project we have and um, how we edit the 360 footage. So let's jump in Premiere right now. Um, this is our project for the video that released on his channel and here we see like okay this is like this is the 360 camera Pascal's holding in his hand and um, then we cut to the side view GoPro so that was the one with the audio dongle on the side uh, which recorded also the sound from the headsets and then we cut after that we cut into the 360 camera again and then into the front camera um, so that was the one mounted on the dashboard and yeah so we got like these three camera angles we can switch between but the great thing is with the 360 camera if we go down here we have a gopro fx reframe plugin so after we converted the 360 videos with the gopro app we can get it into premiere and we can work with it here with this plugin we get this overlay and we can start moving around the camera in the cockpit this is really really great because for us if we want to show you something in the cockpit uh, we always have to switch around between, I don't know, airspeed indicator, altitude, navigation, whatever. And if we would have just like traditional GoPros, we would have to use, I don't know, five to six GoPros to get capture everything and then be able to switch between we want to show you. But with the 360 footage, we are able to show you pretty much everything in the cockpit because we can go in here and we can like pan around where we want to be. And let's say we want to see this instrument down here and we'll just zoom on it right there and that's great perfect and then we can like let it run takes a second there we go yeah the resolution is a bit lower right now uh, 
so it's smoother for the editing and yeah we can move around here and it always creates the keyframes here on the side so you have to pan around set the keyframes take some time but it's awesome for us to really be able to show you everything in the cockpit we really want to show you and um, have the possibility to move around afterwards after the flight so it's always great for pascal to have it in his hand or mount it somewhere in the cockpit and then we're set with that said back to eagles bar so um pascal came back and i'm packing together all the camera equipment right here on the floor and uh, the boys are <laughs> Cleaning the plane, um, yeah, it was actually quite fun. Uh, not a lot for me to do today because Pascal had to do everything in the cockpit with the GoPros and I just waited down here, uh, only doing the intro and outro. Not only actually the intro, um, he filmed the outro in the cockpit with the GoPros. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you like this content or if you would like to see like something specific, GoPro settings, whatever. Um, I can do a separate video about that. And with that said, have a great evening. Bye-bye.